Can you guys keep a secret? Alright everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. Alright guys, I'm going to see if I can show you how you can peen a big uh, burr back into place. So this is the screw out of my Prentice vise. And uh, that is really horrible. I get a couple more here. That one looks like a set screw hole. Didn't do nothing about that. There's no metal there. Uh, this one here, I was able to close up part of it. See if we can show you in real time how to how to peen that closed. So the deal is to try to pack it back towards the hole. Try to reverse the flow of the metal when it was damaged. I think that's about as good as this one's going to get. I hope you can see that it's considerably smaller and the burr is now gone, so I won't really need to even file that. Maybe just to brighten it up a little bit. Let's see, that one there, I can't really do nothing about that. But, there was one, if I can get you in frame, there was one right here. You could just barely see the little divot. And I mean, it was probably about half the size of this one right here. But most of the metal was still there, so I was able to drive it all back into place. And uh, it's almost disappeared. So this is a great way of saving material on your vise, or uh, particularly like on a mill, milling machine vise, or a drill press, or something like that, where somebody whack something with a hammer and put a little burr onto it accidentally instead of just filing it off of there and making your vise look ugly just you know tap it back into place and then polish it up a little bit and you'll leave a lot more material there it'll look better in the end all right guys if you enjoy these kind of videos you like seeing machines being resurrected pulled out of the scrap yard uh why don't you consider subscribing and uh maybe even support my patreon channel uh, it'll certainly help pay for all the little supplies and stuff that I need, and it doesn't take much, you know, every little bit helps. See you guys around.